see, see, Shiva avatars also happen. Vishnu avatars are stabilizing the universe because what does Vishnu come for? There is a cosmic crisis. There is a shift in consciousness. There is mess happening at some level, and we need to stabilize. But he is Tamasa. Remember, I told you Tamasa is actually very valid. Even though the Vaishnavas say that Shiva is Tamasi, but come on. <laughs> but Vaishnavas say many things. Not the Vaishnavas, the, the Gaudiya Sampradaya. Fellows, the Krishna is Lord. Krishna is God Wallace, they say that Shiva is Tamasi. Nobody else says Shiva is Tamasi. No yogi ever says Shiva is Tamasi. But they are not yogis, they are Vaktas. So they operate from a different level. So the Vishnu avatara or the worship of the Vishnu avataras are for certain worldly things. Now the avatara manifests in another very interesting fashion. He manifests not as an avatara, not as aviation, but he manifests as something called vibhuti. Yeah, no, yeah, vibhuti actually means ash, but vibhuti means that a crystallization of the power of that particular god. And most Shiva avatars are vibhuti, they are not actual avatars. How do you know vibhuti? One thing is, he will never live to 40. Till 40. Swami Vivekananda, Adi Shankara, they never live till 40. The body can't hold. There is not enough Vasana Samaskara to engage with the Tattvas and hold the body in place. Huh? Shiv, Shiv Ji gave you all yeah, uh, Gorakshana, he was a direct avatar of, he was a direct form of. Again, didn't live till 40. He just changed everything in yoga and disappeared. He just, I think he gave some what, thousand and something yogic methods. Just put sprout out of him like algae after the rain. <laughs> uh, Lakulisha, the Pashupata sect, those who created the Pashupata and they bought in the whole knowledge of the Kundalini. All of them, these are all, these are all, if the person goes beyond 40, then they are no longer Vibhuti because 40 is the ultimate barrier for the Vibhuti. The Shakti can flow in other ways, but usually it is very difficult for the Shiva energy to enter. Because the Shiva is that Sattvic energy and consciousness. If you are working, if a person is working from that level of consciousness in day-to-day -day interactions, what will happen to Jesus will happen to people who cannot tolerate, they will crucify. Even Jesus at a very deep level was a Shaivik Vibhuti. They will crucify, they cannot tolerate that level because mankind's consciousness has not yet advanced. Few people break through occasionally. But for everybody to live, which is a Krishna is a much easier or the much more comfortable to our current state of vibration. The Shivas, it's not possible. It's not possible. And it's quite terrifying. I mean, people like Vivekananda, Adi Shankara, they used to be they used to frighten people, they used to scare people. Because they were so different from the normal run of the mill they were so different so the power of shiva you can see it flows in all gurus but in some gurus it is very strong and then there is one more way in which the avataric energy descends and that is called amsha amsha means part or portion a small part usually very 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 minute fragment descends into that person for the duration of the and I'm sure that, you know, like somebody like Raman Maharishi was an avatar of Skandar. But he was an Amsha because he was a person who lived in Brahmacharya. So only one aspect of Skandar. Skandar is Kartik, son of Shiva. Or Subramanyu. Subramanyu. Huh? Subramanyu. Down south he is called Velayu then Subramanyu. Who is Subramanyu? I know 100 people. Correct. Correct. Very famous temples. He is, at one time, he used to be worshipped all over India, today only in South India. The actual temples only exist, but he is pure fire energy. So there is certain issues with worshipping. He is very flamboyant. What happened? Good, go there. Good, good. It's very good. Subramanyam is the god of luck. He is the ultimate god of luck in our culture. Your body pain. Your body pain. Your body pain. You are relaxed. He doesn't want you to go easily, you know. When you go there, there is huge energy input. There is one Shanmuga hill. There is a place in South India. You won't believe the pebbles, most of the pebbles there have six faces. 
the energy has automatically cut or the erosion is automatic. Shanmuga means six phase. So the Amsha, now Subramanya he prefers to manifest, the Kartik, Skanda, he prefers to manifest in the Amsha. So each kind of vibration manifests in the, so the full power is to Dengis. The full power is to Dengis. And people who claim to be avatars of Hanuman and all that, please. <laughs> Anuman is still there, yes. The Chiran Naga about the Yes. He stayed with Vasuki there. Correct. See that's stayed with Vasuki means he worked on the Kundalini there. He did a lot of sadhana there in the Kundalini rose over there. That is what it means. That's a very symbolic way of saying that he stayed with Vasuki. All it means is that a great Rishi in whom the Skanda Amsha had been there, he did a lot of sadhana. He did a lot of sadhana. He did a lot of